All right, what's up, YouTube? A um, little update on the Red Cat. I was able to finish getting the GCM uh, Twin Hammers front plate trimmed up. Um, so it fits in between the rails now, but the problem I'm having is that with it in that position, well, let me get the pin back in the caster block here. So that's in. So with the GCM plate, the way it mounts, the spacing that it has with the built-in um, tapped holes, the shock and the upper link make contact before they're fully compressed. So going to be back to the drawing board. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this GCM plate. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure I could tap and drill and tap and dive whatever some new holes, but um, that it's already pretty thin and my skills at that are not the best. So I think what I'm going to have to do instead and what I probably should have done in the first place since we have 3D printers and design capabilities and all that is just design a 3D printed tray um, for the front. Once I have that done, we could take it pretty much to any machine shop and let them just copy it and actually make a metal plate out of it. So I think that's going to be the plan. Um, unfortunately, that means that it is going to delay the build a little bit longer while I get that sorted out. So my apologies on that, but I want to do it right. I don't want to, you know, get a month down the line of trying to modify this and then have to go the same route. So if we can get a front plate um, and probably a lower skid to incorporate the servo mount, I think that will be a one-stop shop, uh, or one uh, one fix for all issues type of deal. So I think that's the route we're going to go. Um, yeah. Other updates on this though, I did make some other progress. Um, as you can see, the ESC and the motor are in. Um, I'm not sure the exact positioning. I think I mentioned that in the last one where I'm going to stick this yet, but um, I will be mounting that somewhere, obviously. Um, I don't know if I'll go up high or down low. Uh, I do like to play in the water a lot, so up high is a good possibility for it. Um, but it is in and ready to spin. I just need to get the rest of the rig going. The rear truss is installed as well. And to accommodate that, I did have to move the rear links out. Um, the factory had them in all the way, and when I had them in all the way, this pinion angle was just horrible. I mean, it was, it, yeah, it, it was not acceptable at all. So, uh, move these the links out to the furthest, and as you can see, it's just fine. I mean, maybe pitched out a little bit. I could probably pull it in, maybe one notch or shorten the links a little, but. Um, I'm happy with the way it is for now. It's not bad at all, and uh, looks pretty killer. So, I'll have some good weight in the back, and definitely some good weight in the front once I get this sorted. Uh, not quite as much as if we had the metal plate going with the 3D printed one, but uh, yeah. So that's where the Red Cat's at. Still trucking along, ran into a couple little hiccups, um, but nothing can't overcome, and she's still going to be running here pretty soon. So. Bear with me while I figure this part out, and I'll have another update coming for the Red Cat pretty soon. Thanks, y'all. Remember to hit that like and subscribe, too, if you haven't already.